What is up guys, Tanner with another video. Hope you're all having a great day. And this video you're about to watch is actually filmed about a week or two ago. And I'm just filming this intro differently because I didn't like the way the audio turned out because there's bad echo in here and I didn't use the external mic so it sounded bad. So I figured I'd just do a quick intro on here of what the video is and we're gonna learn from it. So basically it's with Matt Favor. He's gonna be my new course that comes out August 1st, next Wednesday. And he owns a big marketing agency. He's gonna be talking about one of the things that can be very powerful when it comes to Facebook advertising. So that is the power pixel. So we're gonna skip right here to the part where we're actually going onto my computer and he's gonna be showing you step by step exactly what it is and how it works. It's something that can make you a lot more money than normal. So make sure you pay attention and stay tuned for the new course. Make sure you leave a like and comment on this video right now before it starts. Super excited for you guys to learn this. See you there. So we're now on my computer here on Connect IO, which is actually the platform that allows you to get a power pixel. And I'm gonna let Matt do most of the talking here so he can explain in the best possible way what it is and how it works. So Matt, yeah, go ahead, absolutely. take it away. All right, guys, so you guys want to first head over to this website named connectio.com. Uh, you guys want to create an account. It's about $50 a month. Once you guys do that, you're going to, going to log into the back end. Um, and here is the main dashboard. So this is Connect Retarget. They have a few different things, but sign up for the Connect Retarget. Um, and then you guys want to go to Manage Pixels, Create a Power Pixel. Um, and you guys are going to link uh, Connect.io to your Facebook Business Manager. So you're going to select an ad account, select a pixel, pixel name, and you're going to save uh, the power pixel and it's going to give you guys the code when you guys are setting up uh, your facebook pixel um same thing as you guys would do for your power pixel so copy and paste the code and put it on your website put it in the heading section if you guys use a click funnels it's already a pre-built section where you guys can paste it uh same thing with shopify when you guys do that and the power pixel is set up properly you guys are going to go over to create audience you're going to select the power pixel id which you guys are going to create and then the audience name right so if you're trying to create a custom audience of people who go check out um, like uh, a turbo whistle keychain for a car, right? That this, this Porsche probably has, right? So you guys are gonna put that power pixel on that page and you guys are gonna create um, a custom audience named um, turbo, you know, turbo whistle, right? Um, who stayed um, 30 seconds and scrolled 25% down. What this is going to let you guys do is create a custom audience people who stayed 30 seconds on that page and scrolled 25% down. That's, that's, that's just huge, that's super powerful. You know, you guys can run retargeting ads to those people, nurture that audience and hopefully go for the sale. If you guys are trying to run retargeting ads uh, from a normal Facebook pixel, it's still going to work because you guys can still retarget these people. Uh, but what this custom audience is gonna allow you to do is get the most out of your ad budget and the lowest CPA. Um, and then you would put the URL, the website right there. So, you know, cardriver.com slash turbo whistle. Make sure you guys set it up properly. Um, days retention, just keep it at 30. And then right here is when you're actually gonna make the filters. So time on the site is at least um, or greater than five seconds. We're gonna, we're gonna do in this scenario, um, I'm gonna do 20 seconds. Uh, we'll change this over here back to 20. And then we're gonna do and, and we're, then we're gonna do scrolled is at least 25%, right? And then we're gonna do custom, aud create audience. It's kind of going to let us do it because we don't have everything set up here. Um, so when you guys create the audience, it's going to link right over to your Facebook business manager. It's going to come up in your asset library under custom audiences. And you guys don't want to edit it there on Facebook. You guys only want to edit these custom audiences on Connect.io. Otherwise, you guys just screw it up. Um, so then when you guys are creating a campaign and you guys click traffic campaign, a conversion campaign, whatever you guys want to do and whatever the objective is, then you go select this custom audience and you retarget these people uh, with DPA ads, which are going to be in the course and how you guys can do that. Testimonials, case studies of the product, um, how to use it, um, a coupon, everything like that. And that's how you guys are going to get a lot of sales off of your product. All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you guys the audience templates. And this is something cool at Connect.io already has pre-built in and it allows you guys to uh, create custom audiences of all of these different suggestions right here. So you guys can re-engage old traffic, uh, search traffic, retarget mobile visitors, increase social engagement. So these are just different templates that are pre-built within the software that they built for you and you guys can use it. Um, so look at this right here. So it's finding people who visit the device and is equal to mobile, right? So it's creating a custom audience for you guys, people who go from your mobile phones, right? You guys can do this on Facebook as well, but it's a lot easier to do it within Connect.io. Um, and you guys can change it up too, right? So you can do a time on the site, right? How long they scroll down for, the browser language, referral source, number of visits. If you guys are running a giveaway, which we talk about within the course, you guys can create a custom audience of people who go and check the giveaway page two or three, four times, right? And then same thing on your product page. If you guys wanna put a power pixel on your product page and retarget people who visit that product page two, three, four times, then you guys can do that uh, with 
uh, Connect.io and re one retargeting ads just to those people. So it's super cool, you know, visiting, uh, let's go right here, number of visits, greater than, greater than or equal to two or three times, and you guys create, and you guys can add more specific targeting, or you can just leave it blank if you don't want to do it like I don't want to do. Um, just click the delete there, and you create custom audience. And now you guys would have a power pixel and a custom audience of people who visit the site that specific link more than three times, right? So that's super cool when you guys can send those people more ads. So Matt actually introduced me to Connect.io and the Power Pixel and how it all works actually only a few days ago. And since then, I've been integrating it. And it actually makes a huge difference on how effective your Facebook audiences can be when targeting. So it's definitely very helpful. I definitely recommend you go try it out at least. There will be a link in the description below if you wanna go check it out and try it for yourself. Yes, it's an affiliate link. I'm not going to lie about that because if you watch my videos, you probably understand business and how it works, but it's something that's helpful. And of course, I've told you guys before, I would never put you guys on some type of software or anything like that that is not actually helpful and I think is worth your money. So if you have the money to spend on it, I definitely recommend it. It'll help you make more money. So it's considered an investment. So thank you, Matt, for helping me out yeah, with this absolutely. video and teaching my audience on how this all works and how they can integrate it into their own stores. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you go follow Matt on Instagram. I'll put that right here. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Take care.